this is the hair i'm using for the tutorial today's tutorial is called natural weave from expression this is one of their newest products and the length of the hair are all equal and it is synthetic hair and you can use this one just one pack for full head it's really affordable it comes in three bundles okay this hairstyle is a side pattern i'm using a tail comb to just section out the pattern side so i'm making sure that the pattern is really straight enough once that is done we just go ahead to start conrolling and i'm starting from the front of her hair using a tail comb to section out where i want to conroll adding little extension adding little extension while i'm conrolling so that it will be able to withstand uh, the pressure of needle and thread hi everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for tuning in for today's video hope you are doing good and great as well today's video is another episode of how to sew in without a closure i have filmed this style before but i got lots of complaints on the video that it does not show the closing part so i decided to film it again this is more detailed will advise you to watch this video to the end so that you get a better understanding on this style it's really really detailed for the second con roll we go ahead to con roll till i get almost very close to the end part where i section out so then we just add up the tip of the first con roll to the second con roll so that it doesn't get bulky at the end in the distance i can for the third corn roll, I'm just going to take it down to the other part of her head at the back. This method of corn rolling is mostly used by beginners. It helps beginners to be able to know where to start the sew in weaves. Feel where we are, where we are, we can run all night till the dawn. For the remaining part of the head, we'll just continue connecting the tips to each other, connecting the braids or the tips to each other so that it doesn't get bulky. So this is what it should look like after con rolling. So this is the thread I'm using or the thread I've been using. I always use in any tutorial that sew in tutorial. Okay, to prepare the thread and the needle before sewing in, you just take the thread and unravel it to the length you want and then you fold the part into two. That is if you are okay with the length. So you just go ahead to fold it to look like this. Then take the needle you would like to use and then take the folded part and pass it through that needle loop or hole like this take it down to meet the end of the other part of the thread so once the both ends of the thread meet together you just take a scissors and then cut off the excess so yeah this is what it should look like you can get the needle and the thread at your local beauty supply store or even aliexpress i actually filmed the video recently or i uploaded a video recently on how to shop on aliexpress i'm going to leave the link in the description box below okay after corrolling just using needle and thread to just hide the last tip and you guys already know how to do the corn roll how to corn roll for sewing but if you do want a detailed tutorial i'm also going to leave a link in the description box below on how to corn roll 101 Conrolling that first back corn roll will just help you identify where to start sewing in the weaves, especially for beginners. So we just start sewing in the first web from the third line. You guys remember the third line? I connected the first two corn rolls to the third line. So we'll start sewing in the first web from that line down to the other side of our head. For the first two lines or the first two webs I'm going to sew, I'm sewing a single web because I do not want that back to be too full. For the third line, we'll just start doubling the web so that I can be able to sew in all three bundles on her head. 
Why sewing? I'm doing the turnover method and you guys already know that synthetic hairs always comes in single webs, not double to compare to the human hairs which makes the turnover method very easy. That the single webs, they make the turnover method very very easy to achieve. So when I get to the end of a particular line, we just flip it over to the next line and continue sewing in. Till it dawn, till it dawn. Light it up like the stars No more fear of hiding Stay where we are with the world Sewing double webs sometimes can be tricky, you just have to make sure that you are actually sewing the double webs so you have to go back and forth checking the webs while sewing in or while pushing in the needle, you have to go back and forth, you check the webs first before you push in the needle to sew in. So I'm just sewing in the hair in a U shape and minding the fact that it's a side pattern. So while I'm sewing in this side part, I'm taking more hairs to the right side and the left side so that the hairs will also be full or so that I can also have more hairs to the right side. But this is not applied to a center part hairstyle, only doing this to a side hairstyle, to a side part hairstyle. What I'm actually doing to the left side of the head is just to sew in more hairs. When I get to the middle part of the hair, we just stop and then take either a scissors to cut off the hair or I just flip it over back to that right side and then continue sewing. So that that part of the hair will not look scanty. We continue sewing the webs that way until when the both sides, both the left and the right side get pretty close to each other. And if you really want to understand what I'm actually doing or you want to learn more of the turnover method, I'm going to leave like two links in the description box below, which I'm just like kind of demonstrating how to do the turnover method on a center pattern is just the center pattern. The difference between the two different links are the first one I used like a human hair and the second one I used the synthetic hair. And also if you want a very 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 in-depth tutorial like sewing 101 that is sewing in from the scratch please leave a comment in the comment section indicating that you want a detailed tutorial on how to sew in 101 and trust me I'm going to film that for you just you we we'll keep placing or sewing more hairs to the right side of our head until when the two lines are getting pretty close to each other and when the sewing parts are actually kind of equal. Then we we'll just continue doing the sewing from the left to the right and from the right to the left doing the turnover method. Okay, we we'll just allow you guys to see for yourself so that you can understand this better, understand and see for yourself better. Hmm? Where we are, we can run all night Till it dawn, till it dawn We light it up like the stars No more fear of hiding Stay where we are, we're the ones We can break the silence That the weaves are pretty close to each other to sew in the last web i'm using a toe comb to just comb or you can use a brush any comb of your choice to just comb the hair backwards 
this is just to get a smooth surface and also to comb back all the hairs especially the fly away hairs to the back so that it doesn't get in the way and also so that i can be able to see or identify where to place the last weft because the both sides need to be very close to each other okay back to the sewing before sewing the last weft you will need to measure the weave first you'll be sure that the remaining weaves will be able to cover the remaining part of the client's head okay sewing in the last part or last weave or last weft you push in the needle through the weft and the corn roll and instead of dragging the thread backward you have to drag it forward this is to bring the weaves very close to the pattern so if this uh, last weft does not come very close to each other you won't get a good result so you have to sew in the last wefts very very close to the pattern so that the two sides that's the left and the right will be very close to each other and while doing this last part or sewing in the last web, you have to be very, very, very careful so that you don't punch the needle or injure your client. Just take your time while doing this part. Be very careful while doing it so that you can get a very good result. Okay, I do have lots and lots of tutorial on how to sew in weaves, different hairstyles like I have from episode 1 to like let's say 20 I think. I'll just go back to number them so that it will be aligned better for you to understand. So I'm going to leave a link in the description box of each of the sew in tutorials. In case if you are new you can be able to learn better. But before clicking or going to click that link, I will advise you to watch this one, this video very careful to the end where we are we can run all night till the dawn till the dawn we light it up like the stars no more fear of hiding stay where we are we're the ones we can break the silence Okay, like you can see the both sides of the hair are really close to each other this will make the closing very easy to achieve once you are done sewing in the webs any excess weave you just use scissors to trim it off and then you use a tail comb to just brush the hair so that all flyaway hairs does not get in the way while you are trying to close the hair. Okay, now that we are done sewing in the last weft or installing the last weft, to close up the hair you will have to change the needle, that's the thread itself, from the double thread to a single thread so that the thread won't be visible after closing it up. Moving on, to completely close this hairstyle or to do the last closing, you have to push the needle, that's the single thread needle, from the left to the right or from the right to the left. And while you are doing this, you are not pushing the needle through the comb row, you are only pushing the needle from the left weft to the right weft. And while dragging the thread, after pushing the needle from the left weft to the right weft, not pushing it through the corn roll underneath it, just the wefts alone, then you use your fingers to add little pressure, holding the two points, that's the left and the right weft together, so that they can join together or meet together like husband and wife. What the Lord has joined together, let no man put asunder. You just use needle and thread to join them together. <laughs> It will allow you guys to see for yourself so that you understand what I'm actually doing and please if you are confused just leave a comment let me know that you are confused so that I will know how to like film or like do the next tutorial <laughs> In the distance, I can see all the things that we can achieve. Are you starting to believe that tonight it was meant to be?
close my eyes I feel where we are where we are we can run all night till the dawn till the dawn we light it up like the stars no more fear of hiding stay where we are we're the ones we can break the silence installing all the weaves we just take any brush anyways and just brush the hair apply hair cream apply any hair cream of your choice this is a synthetic hair so it's allowed you can use any hair cream of your choice on the hair and then brush it and comb it properly neatly so that it will come out very neat use the scissors to chop off all the flyaway hairs especially the ones that are very close to the clothing and then still go ahead to brush the hair for that more properly. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Hope it's helpful. Hope you're able to learn something from this video. Please go ahead to leave a comment on what you think. The next title or the next tutorial you want to see up on this channel. Share to friends and family and give this video a big thumbs up. We'll talk to you guys in my next video. Stay blessed. I feel where we are, where we are We can run all night Till the dawn, till the dawn